Back in 2021, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl launched. This was shortly after I came back to YouTube and began streaming again. Since I'd taken nearly a two year break from doing YouTube, I wanted to come back with a bang. So I decided to embark on a journey. A journey of which I had no idea how long it would actually take to finish. I began shiny hunting for the legendary Pokemon of time, Dialga. This was the longest shiny hunting journey of my career, and oh boy, I really had no idea what I got myself into. This took me far longer than I had ever expected it to. So allow me to take you with me on this journey so you can see exactly how the process of obtaining this shiny Dialga went. Throughout the course of November and December, I managed to put in over 100 hours collectively just hunting for Dialga or Palkia. And just let it be known that I only ever got one shiny in BDSP. And that was a Bidoof I accidentally got from the Pokey Radar. I genuinely felt like my games were cursed and that I was never going to get Dialga or Palkia. As the numbers kept rising, going from 1,000 to over 2,000, over 3,000 and beyond, I started losing faith very quickly. It got to a point where everybody watching me hunt for these Pokemon were also losing their minds along with me. When you cut the cow, will there still be milk in the cow? And they can tell they have their- what? What the f- what is this comment section? Whenever you go to a restaurant and the waiter takes your order and then leaves, do you become the waiter? Bruh. I also remember how to say condom in French. La preservatif. Jason, if you were a stripper, what would your stage name be? The mime. Some of these conversations just made me lose brain cells. Eventually, my chat came up with a genius idea. To add more fuel to the fire, they challenged me to an idea that I thought wasn't going to be possible. But immediately, I accepted the challenge. Making a community donation goal, even if you don't or you don't reach it, you still get the money, bro. This, yeah. yeah, all right, cognitively, we set a bounty. Chat, what's a fair bounty in your guys' minds for me to kill this thing if I get it? Okay, two racks? Okay, oh. okay. Two racks? Two racks to kill the shiny if we get it. F bet. I'll do that. Like. If we got over $2,000 in donations before the shiny showed up, I had to kill it. In my mind, this was something that was very unlikely to happen. Well, let's just say I was very wrong. There you go, chat. There's your bounty set up for it. Have fun. This must be achieved by the time I get the shiny. As soon as the goal went live, everyone in the community started going to war with each other, trying to one-up the next person. And, uh, let's just say they decided to really get the ball rolling. Thank you so much, brother. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck, man? It's just... Okay, and Doken with the 10, bro. Holy sh** happened. It's been hard to... <laughs> Miles with the dollar says I am poor. When I was... Oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna lose my sh**. And then Shiny Giratina with the mime. Wait, did it freeze? What was it just at? Well, it definitely didn't freeze. Thank you for the raid. I hope you stream on well. Oh my f God. What's up, Fidelio? How you doing, buddy? Oh my God, dude. I don't know. I think I think Mr. Jason Marusco might have won this one. I I, I don't want to I don't want to jinx it, but never mind. Never mind. Ne this never mind. What I said. What I said, dude. And now that the ball was rolling, there was no stopping the brakes on this train. Over the course of the stream, that bar kept filling and filling and filling. And before I knew it, it was game over for this Dialga before it even showed up. The Italian chest hair has come out. Oh my God. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, Joshy, I know you've been here for a while.
stuff. I won't be the one to push it over, but I will put the goal within easy sniping range. Best of luck on the shiny. Hope you don't have to kill it. Horo with the hundred dollar nuke. Poro, it's 4 a.m., dude. It's 4 a.m. Well, I I can kiss the shiny goodbye at this point. I can let Richard left it with one cent. All right, time to turn oh. off donations, chat. I'll turn it off. Don <laughs> oh, my. So who wants to be the demise of the shiny? Oh, lady? my God, Poro. You actual f maniac, dude. Bro. I don't know if I should even thank you right now, bro. <laughs> for real, though, dude. Thank you so much for the $100 bomb. Moxley with the 334. Well, it's official. Oh, 2003. It's official, guys. We have to kill the shiny. Me, man. That's great. I was actually really hoping there would be a, a, a possibility of it. Now, at this point, I'm legitimately more worried about this thing actually showing up. Since I've now crowdfunded towards this bet that I didn't even think was going to be accomplished to begin with. I felt like I had no choice but to continue looking for this Dialga and not be allowed to give up. This hunt eventually got to the point where I literally had no strength to keep going. Over 8,000 soft resets, it was so mentally taxing and just counterproductive being several weeks into the hunt, I started to consider the fact that it wasn't even worth it anymore. Soft reset after soft reset still nothing was happening i was completely drained and exhausted of this hunt and prayed i never had to even look at another dialga again until months later i decided to pick back up the hunt but this time i decided to make it a little easier on myself in po where you fight through a short gauntlet of random pokemon eventually leading you to the end of the den where you'll fight a legendary pokemon and after you encounter a legendary pokemon the first time you're able to save that legendary to continue to look for it again in the future the reason why i mention all of this is because in dynamax adventures the odds of finding a shiny pokemon is one in 300 which is significantly less valuable than finding one at full odds in bdsp but at this point, I really didn't care. I just wanted to get Dialga for the sake of finally finishing this bounty bet. And honestly, for my own mental health. But just because the odds are lower, doesn't mean this is going to be easy. Because in order to even get to Dialga, you have to defeat several mini-boss Pokemon in raids before the Legendary Raid. And sometimes, this could be less than favorable, due to the fact that unlike in Scarlet and Violet, where you essentially get infinite lives in raids, in the Dynamax adventures, you only get four. And not per battle, but four in total. If your team has four Pokemon that faint throughout the entire duration of the adventure, you will instantly lose. And this may cause you to not even get the chance to fully reach the legendary. But all you really need is some good RNG and good communication with the other players, and it makes things 10 times easier. I thought that was sub. Oh. Wait, is that it? No, no, it's not. Wait, wait. Oh, you got it. You got it. Fuck. Go! Finally! 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 Oh my god! It's over! It's being over! Oh my god, dude! I was here for it. Let's go. I was here. I was here. Oh my god! I was here. Oh my god. <gasps> Punk, did you realize how, many, how much time he spent on brilliant diamond trying to get it no oh my fucking god two years two of them oh my god all right man jason. we did it we did it we did it in three raids jason oh my god this man it's... is this man has a chubby hey, dude you have no idea how happy I am to never have to hunt for this thing again. But don't forget, I still gotta kill it, chat. I know. You know what? No, I'm gonna get Moxley on the line right now. And there you have it. I finally obtained the shiny Dialga after two years of hunting for it. And even though it wasn't done in BDSP, at this point, all I cared about was getting the Dialga in my possession so I could finally say that I did it. But... Let's not forget that I still had a promise to keep, and that was to release it. One more time to see it shine, dude. 
Or just give it to me and I'll fucking kill it. No, no, no. I gotta do this myself. Unfortunately, the time has come. Someone get ready to clip this. Because I'm going to be making a full-length video documenting this whole hunt. But it's got to go now. It's, it's got to go now, chat. Everyone say your final goodbyes to this Dialga. It's got to it's gotta go, man. It's got to go, man. What's up, Coop? Fellas, wild ride. 07's in chat. Dialga. I'm sorry, dude. It's been real, but we got to get rid of it. Sleep well, sweet prince. Releasing it was the only possibility since you only know if it's shiny once you've caught it. So I guess that'll work for now. Ah, uh, yeah, that hurts. All in all, I'm just glad to finally say that I did it. I finally caught the Dialga after all these years. Call it a cop out or not, all I cared about was completing the bet for the people who donated towards it. And so I did. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video and found my rage and frustration with this damn hunt to be funny and entertaining. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this in the near future. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what your longest shiny hunt was. I'd love to know if you have one longer than this. On screen, you're seeing two videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next, so make sure to check them out. And with that said, I'll catch you legends in the next video.